Okay. I'm gonna explain how to compile and run Xlibre, but for that, first I'm gonna show how to run uh, normal XR. So, with the start X, uh, I'm not gonna use any display server, I'm just gonna use uh, start X manually. So, there's two parts client and the server, that's the architecture. I'm gonna use XFCE. Although I don't have to specify X, I'm just going to do it just for completeness. Specify the virtual terminal and that's it. Now I'm running um, X with XFC. That's it. Okay, now it's time to compile X Libre. So here I have the dependencies are gonna be needed for the compilation and these are the two repositories that I'm going to use. I'm gonna explain uh, the second one in a moment but first I'm gonna install the packages that basic packages for for development in Arch Linux which is base devil, uh, git and meson. Okay so now I'm gonna clone uh, the xlibre uh, server repository just the, la, uh, the latest commit and I'm going to install the dependencies uh, these are the minimum dependencies you might want to install others but I found that this this work fine so just install those and then with meson configure uh, the build in a specific prefix so that it doesn't affect my system and that's it now it's configured and I'm checking that that the directory doesn't contain anything okay now it's clean now I build with ninja and install at the same time and that's it it's compiling there's a few warnings that I will probably send some patches for for now let's just compile Okay, now we have now we have X Libre, but if I run it, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. I need some input drivers. So lib input. This is there is a a version for. Uh, that is that was forked but I'm gonna use the the upstream one from xorg just to show that that it works and all the drivers have to be recompiled and I'm gonna use this uh, pkg config path variable in order to s to tell to pkg config to use those instead of the packages in my system so with that Meson is gonna use uh, xlibre instead of xorg. So I tell to this driver to install in the same prefix. It's checking uh, with pkg config, and that's it. I have built and installed the uh, lib input driver for xlibre and I'm gonna use the same start x command except that I'm gonna specify the opt xlibre prefix oh okay uh, yeah the for some reason the permissions are of the TTY are changed so I'm just gonna log out log in and start x again and that's it I'm running 
my XFC with X Libre, and I'm just gonna show uh, that yeah, uh, 3D rendering works fine. Because at the end of the day, it's the same protocol, should work exactly the same, and it does. Okay. Now to show that um, games work, I'm gonna run Steam. I mean, there's no reason why they sh they sh shouldn't work because it's pretty much a different mm, pathway. But anyway. Uh, this is Steam. I'm using Proton GE. And there it is. Just works fine. Uh, Usually I get a little bit more frame rate, but I guess the recording slows slows it a bit. But anyway, gaming works fine inside X Libre as it should. No problem. So that's it. That's how to run, compile and run X Libre. It's pretty easy on Arch. Arch Linux. The instructions should be similar in other uh, distributions. But anyway, that's it.